Hi, this is a short video to show you how to activate your caregiver profile. This video assumes that you have already registered your account and are now taking the steps to activate it. So you will go to our website caregivermatch.com and click login. This will take you to a login screen. You're going to type in your email and your password and sign in. Because you have to activate your account in order to work, these are the three steps that you have to go through in order to get there. So the first step is a services agreement. The second step is to complete your profile. And the third step is to verify your identity. So we're going to walk through these steps. So for the services agreement, this is the agreement that we have between yourself as an independent caregiver and caregivermatch.com. So you should probably read through this. There's 16 points here. And then at the bottom, we also have a workplace violence and abuse policy. This is really for insurance purposes, but it's here to be, make sure that uh, you agree to obviously treat our clients with respect and the dignity that they deserve. So you'll scroll down, read through here. And at the very bottom of this screen, you need to acknowledge that you have read and understand it and submit to continue. Once that happens, you're going to notice that the services agreement has turned green and you are now on to the complete your profile section, which has turned blue. And you'll see that verify your identity is grayed out and it will not let you proceed to that step until this one is complete. In step two of your activation process, called complete your profile, there are three sub steps that you must complete. Personal information, records, and positions and job activities. So to start with personal information, you're gonna scroll down and start with an image and you'll see it says image required. So I'm gonna upload that. And I've got a photo here. can see that I've uh, chosen to be Luke Perry for today. So you can alter the picture and uh, to show where you want uh, your face to be and then press save. You're going to write a, a little introduction about yourself and we want this to be short, something that the client can read quickly about you. I am a dedicated, hardworking and caring personal sport worker with five years of experience. I look forward to working with you. Put something nice like this that just gives a brief introduction. And then you're going to scroll down and fill out all of your basic information in here. In each of these boxes, you can click and put in a, um, a language and there will be a drop down menu to select the languages you choose. Once you've completed that, click save and continue. You'll notice it says basic information is updated. The section has turned green and now you're on to your records. To add your records, you must go down the list and answer these questions. I have a criminal record check less than one year old. The answer is yes or no. Now in order to be active, you have to have a criminal record check. So if you don't have one, you should stop here and you should go and get your criminal record check and bring it back to your activation process. For now, I'm going to click yes, and we're going to select the date, make it last year. We're going to select the date, the location, wherever it is that you got that, and the expiry date, which is typically one year later. Do you have CPR? I'll just click no for now, but if you click yes, you can put your expiry date. We can do that. I have a valid driver's license, yes or no, and I have a vehicle that I can use for work. Now, if you have a vehicle with proof of valid auto insurance, then you can select this and you can choose to drive clients in your vehicle. If you select no, you can still drive clients in their vehicle with a valid driver's license. You can also select no for both of these. So once this is complete, we press save and continue. 
And now we're on to the third position, the third step of this of stage two, which is positions and job activities. So add each position that you are qualified for. So we have a number of positions that are in here, and we would ask that you select the ones that you are qualified for. Companion care and home support do not require any certifications. That includes housekeeping. Personal care, you require a certificate and so on down. All of these require certificates. So let's just select home support and housekeeping for this example. And you're going to see that underneath here, a list of tasks has opened up. So we're going to click on which skills that we have. And you can go down the list and decide which ones of these you would like to offer. You can also check all or you can uncheck all. Let's decide that you like to do all of these except you don't like to iron. So we can uncheck that. And then you can write additional things, right? Maybe you do like to do pet care or something else around the house. You can certainly add these things and, and click add. Then you can save this position. So home support and housekeeping, you are now av available to do all of these chores. You can either select another category or you can press done and continue. So for instance, if you chose companion care or personal care, personal care you're gonna see requires a certificate number. Okay, so I'll put a certificate number here. I'll give the date of the certification and I'll just put college here, but please put the name of your college. Check any of the items that you feel you can do. Add any additional activities. Save this position and then done and continue. And you'll see that your completed profile is now green and you are now on to the last stage. Now that you've reached the third step, verify your identity, you're going to scroll down and see that there's three different sections where you can upload uh, a file to us. One is we need a picture or photocopy of some valid photo ID. So that would be a driver's license or a passport or some type of picture government identification. The second is to upload a picture or a photocopy of your criminal record check. And the third is to upload a picture or photocopy of any relevant certificates. And this one, of course, is optional. So this one could be something like a CPR certificate or a food handler certificate, anything that might be of uh, use to uh, the job that you may perform. So we're gonna start with your valid photo ID and we're gonna click browse. And this will take us to a folder where you've uh, saved your, your, uh, your files. So in this case, it's the ID. So I'm gonna double click this. Okay. Then I'm going to go here and upload a picture of the criminal record check. So I've got that here. And you'll see that the file names are loading up right beside here and a picture of any other relevant certificates. And if you have one of those, you can do that. But in this case, I don't. I'm going to save and continue. Okay. And you now see that you have completed your profile. Thank you for completing your activation. So you can actually start to receive job postings now that your account is activated. In order to actually work with Caregiver Match, you will eventually have to sign up, and it's free, uh, a Stripe bank account in order to get paid but you don't have to do that until such time as you're ready to work. But the sooner the better, obviously, it'd be nice to get all of your steps done, but you're otherwise ready to go. So we hope this video has been of help. And if it hasn't, please reach us at info at caregivermatch.com or call us at 1-833-83-MATCH. Thank you and good luck.